I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. I'm Adrian, and I'm the experimentalist. Today, we are at Broadway Boot Camp, and we are learning the final number of Mean Girls on Broadway. Welcome to North Shore High. Okay, so if you sign up for a Broadway boot camp, what is gonna happen? You're gonna come to a place like this, like Ballet Chicago, it's like a, you know, a rehearsal space. And then, next thing you know, three cast members from the show are gonna come in and you're like, whoa, starstruck, right? And then they're gonna start teaching you songs and dances and a scene from the show. And then you get to go to the show with all your new theater friends. And then the next day, you have a whole performance where all your friends and family can come and see you be your own Mean Girl star. So this is like basically like an immersion program. They don't coddle you that much, is what I would say. It seemed as if people here knew how to read music and lyrics. There were people who knew. I'm just gonna mouth and stand next to you the whole time. <laughs> He's like a really good singer. I just sat by this great guy, Omar, who had a great voice. So I just tried to kind of lip sync a little bit next to Omar because the only feedback I've ever gotten about my singing is do not sing. Then they do a casting, which is like, I feel not nearly as scary as in real life <laughs> because it was all very friendly. Based on just like comfortability and experience, we're, we're doing the casting as it is right now. Adrian, I thought maybe we make you Gretchen. Okay, do I have to sing? <laughs> <laughs> I got cast as Gretchen Wieners, which I thought was incredibly fetch. I was very excited to be a plastic. That's so fetch. I mean, it felt like being sort of like back in high school or like in choir. I can tell why people like theater. It's very communal. It's like everybody was super nice. And like, it is actually pretty fun to sing with a group of people. Inspirational song, like even if you're just lip syncing it. And now, put your music down and let's learn. So for now really kind of like broke it down and gave us like an easier version, which I think was still maybe too hard for me. <laughs> but other people did okay. Other I mean everybody else did a great job. I think the coolest thing about this performance is that people had their families here, like their parents came or sisters, you know, we had like a whole audience and people were like really excited and fun. And we did the performance and I'll tell you what, it just went by in a blur. <laughs> I was like, it's happening now. Here we are. I had to bring myself back to my body. Did you see in the performance how I messed up like the whole dance at the beginning? <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. In rehearsal I got it right, but there's something about like you had to move this and this and the opposites like I'm just I don't know my brain just doesn't work that way. So I was a terrible dancer. The other people who are here, I mean like we're like great actors and like really excited to be here and do this and I feel like when people bring that kind of energy it like lifts the whole group up. I mean the actors were really committed to their lines, even if they had like one line. There are no small parts as they say. At the end, 
I got like a premiere spot where I get to be the person that takes the selfie of the group. And I don't know if they just like threw me that bone because like, I'm not very good at anything else. If you need a creative outlet, this is a great thing to do for a weekend. And it also seems like a great thing to do with like your friends, like maybe I'll bring my kid, you know, and make him do some like dancing, we could bond. But yeah, it's a super fun experience. I feel very free and open from my communing with my new friends in song.